guys good to have you back if this is your very first time watching one of my videos let me introduce myself my name is margaret i am from the netherlands i am a paper crafting junk journaling vintage treasure hunter <laughs> that's basically me welcome to my channel hope you enjoy it guys what i want to do today is to make a very simple project that I have not made before. This is a prototype, but it's not mine. This is a treasure that I got from a lovely friend of mine. Um, and I want to sort of mass make it today because I think this will be very, very useful for happy mails, junk journals, little gifts, whatever. Let me tell you what we're going to do today. Earlier this week, I received a lovely surprise happy mail from a um, Dutch subscriber, follower on Instagram as well, uh, Saskia. Saskia made this beautiful happy mail and in that came this little treasure. Um, let me show you what it is. It's a cute little sort of ephemera holder map thingy, trifold. Yeah, you open it up and it has some uh, sort of layers that you can put, well, she put poster stamps in here. So this is very, very lovely. And I think it's sort of simple to make. I have not made one before. She she has sewn it. I don't believe I will do that. But you never know. Maybe I'll try. I think it, this is an um, easy sort of project that we can make with all sorts of papers. I picked out lots of papers that we're going to try. I'm going to do a couple of variations on here. This is a trifold. Yeah. I am going to do... Uh, one that's uh, with two pockets, just fold it in. And I'm going to do one that has four pockets. So you fold this in, then you fold this in, and then you fold them up. Does it make any sense? Hopefully it does. Uh, I'm going to try. So let me tell you what we're going to use. For the papers, I am using all sorts. Yes, I have um, small paper pads. These are six by six, I believe. Small paper pads. Um, this is something that I got on AliExpress. This is an A5 sheet. Some book pages. Some a piece of book pages. I have some old, really old ledger. Um, but I'm going to use this part because I want to decorate it. Oh, I'm gonna, I love this so much. Uh, ledger. Um, book pages. This, this is just text some uh, decorated book pages this is again some sort of scrapbook paper but then the very thin kind yeah from a paper pad real scrapbook paper uh, maps encyclopedia page all sorts of sizes of pages just you know paper you can use digitals if you want to then for a closure i'm using ribbons um i have loads let me show you sort of this. Yes, this is just um, a bucket. Well, bucket. A box full of all sorts of uh, ribbon that I'm going to use. I also want to use this one. This looks very vintage. And maybe even these. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Then, uh, glue. I'm using art glitter glue. If you don't have that, you can also use um, tape. That uh, makes a very fine... A line with glue something that will glue in a thin strip yeah you could use your sewing machine good for you <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna use it i'm gonna try it on one guys um and then i'm going to use some bits and bobs to decorate probably do some inking uh you need a device for cutting either it be scissors uh paper cutter paper trimmer whatever you use a knife um, you don't really need a scoreboard. I'm going to use a scoreboard. Because, you know, I have one. Why not use it? But you can just measure it. Or just, you know, eyeball it and then fold it. Is that it? I think that is it. I have no clue how I'm going to decorate. Well, a little bit. But I don't know the bits and bobs that I'm going to get out. Probably some washi tape, some stickers, some stamping. You know, whatever I have lying around on my desk. So... It's going to be a simple one, I believe. Let's get started. If we look at the prototype, which is not a prototype at all, it's wonderful. Um, it's been divided by three, but the last part that goes inside is a little bit smaller. See that? Yeah. So uh, we need to make the last piece a tiny bit smaller. What I have is my scoreboard and my calculator. <laughs> yes. So this is eight and a quarter 
if we divide it by three, we're left with two and three quarters. I think we'll be fine, but I do not know for sure. So I, what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to do two, th two and three quarters anyway. I'm just going to try it. Here goes nothing. Here goes one. That's one. Yeah. And then if we do another one, uh, which will be four, five and a half, five and a half. Are you sure? Probably. No. Two and three quarter, five and a half. <laughs> I'm probably doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am a rubbish at math and I also have to convert it um, to... Yeah, five and a half. I was right all along. I am used to doing this in centimeters. So I have to sort of, you know, convert to my other measurements. Let's see how this works. Oh, yeah. It was 25 cents. Whole pile. <laughs> I'm not taking the sticker off, but it, because it will leave a sort of a, a goo. Will this work? Well, it does. It does. I just divided it by three and it works. Oh, great. Yay for me. Now, what we need to do is make this pocket. I'm going to use the lower part because I want to fold this in so you cannot see this anymore. Of course. I want the first pocket to be, I think, one and a half inch. One and a half inch. Let's do that. I think that'll be a good measurement. So yeah, this is the first pocket. So now we need a second pocket. For that, I am using a piece of scrap in the same size. Is this too big of a pocket? Yes, I'm going to cut it a little bit size. I'm gonna take off like a quarter of an inch or something like that, maybe half an inch. I'm not even gonna measure, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Because this doesn't need exact measurements. I think this looks great. Perfect. Now, we need to make a decision. And this is going to be a shallow pocket. This is going to be a very deep pocket. If we uh, glue it here, yeah, then it's going to be a very deep pocket. If you want this also to be a shallow pocket, then you glue it here. Does that make any sense? I hope so. I think so, right? I'm going to have this one as a deep pocket. Yeah, but first I need to score these as well. What did we do? Two and three quarters and five and a half. That just works a lot easier. Yeah? this again has coffee on here coffee beans and such so now uh, we need to just glue this in how are we gonna do that <clears throat> I'm gonna glue all the way on this bottom yes and then strip here 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 and here yeah what you can do is use glue tape you can use um, art glitter glue or your sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> Before I glue it in, I inked it. I inked everything. Yeah. All the lines, also the folds. What I didn't ink are these parts. These are, um, this is white. Normally I'd freak out and be like, we need to put something on here. But let's be honest, we're going to put stuff in here. See, like so. So most of the white will be sort of covered anyway. Um, so no, I am not going to uh, put paper on it or ink it. I'm going to do some light stamping. What am I going to use? Well, probably my splatter stamp. Yeah. Let's pick a color. Oops. A lucky color is tea dye. Yes, because it's all about coffee. Let's do tea dye. I'm just going to do um, this. 
See? Just to sort of break up uh, the white on here. Does that look okay? See? As we say in the Netherlands, nothing on the hand or kortoma, niksa on the hand. It's like touch and letter. So all's good. All is good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I actually like this. I like it. Good. Are we gonna... No. Still not gonna ink that part. I am taking art, making this into deeper pockets. So I am gluing all the way to the bottom. I could be making a mistake, a big mistake, but you know. You learn from your mistakes. And then I need to uh, glue all the sort of edges, the folds. This edge, this fold here in the middle. Uh, one more in the middle. And one more on the edge. Yeah, did we do it right? Yes. So I'm gluing it all the way to the bottom. Lining up the edges. Great. We're going to do the same with this piece. Uh, we do not need to glue over here because, you know, we don't need to. We're going to glue this, this, this and this. Yeah? Okay. There we go. These two. And these two. Did I put glue on? Or, or, you can also do this when you put glue on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should cut this out, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I make mistakes sometimes, guys, I do. <laughs> I forgot to put glue there. You were screaming, hello, uh, maybe you should put glue there. Maybe I should. That'd be, uh, you know, a fantastic thing. <laughs> oh, Sometimes I crack me up. Now this should work. Hopefully it does. Such a simple project. Yes, let's do something easy and for beginners. Well, obviously I'm a beginner. Let's see. Let's fold it. Let's see how this works. Well, it worked. See that? It is cute. I already love it. Um, what are we going to do? I'm going to decorate with some coffee related items, I guess. Before I decorate, I just want to decorate it lightly. Um, I have to point out to you guys what I did. I folded it in and just it kept, well, it will do this. But it does do that because this piece was actually too long. Yeah. So what I did, I just took my trimmer, trimmed just a sliver off glued it again and then inked it again yeah so this piece really needs to be a bit smaller so saskia was right all along and i was stupid but you know i'm a guy with it i thought i had a lot of coffee stickers but these are the only ones i have left I also have a red cola red rock cola but that's not coffee they are a little bit too big to go on here but i think i want to have one of them in the back like so yeah um and then i think i'm just gonna put a label here and probably a label here and um i have these and i think these are the perfect color i was looking for this color don't have anything like that i already cut these out i am going to have a lot of questions about these these i buy on instagram at Oma verkoopt. It's O dot M dot A. Verkoopt. En verkoopt is sales. Uh, if you want to find her, look for Old Made Awesome. That's her creative account. And then and there's a link to her shop. Mind you, she doesn't have these all the time. She has them sometimes. And these ones she made for me. I was asking for these colors. I actually bought something from her yesterday that would have been lovely with this. I bought some vintage sort of uh, ribbon or trim. In a, in, it was in its original packaging and it's this color. 
that would have been wonderful. But we don't have that. So what we do have are some other ribbons that I want to see if we can find something that is nice. I was trying to say, I finally have a project to put my coffee stamps on because I don't drink coffee, I don't like coffee. And then I found out I almost used every single one of them. Well, that's lovely. Okay, so for a ribbon around it, I was looking at my green ones because I wanted something like this. I only have a piece of this lace that is really cute, but it is too small. Um, so no green. I could do this one. I love this, but this has a more sort of vintagey look. And then I was looking at my sort of brown ones. And I think I want to do this brown gingham. Is there enough on here? Ooh, let's see, let's see, hopefully. See, just you always keep your scrap bits from everything, from your trims, your lace, your papers. I think we have just about enough. Oh yeah, wow. Done. Do you like it? Yeah, well, you could fill it. You, you must fill it, of course, with, you know, ephemera pieces. But there's one done. I want to make one that is just folded in. So it's going to be very simple. I want to use this piece of... This is a 6x6, six six, right? Yeah. Um, I love this image. Yeah, that's really, really nice. So, But I need a contrasting image for the, um, uh, for the pocket on the inside. And I was thinking, since vintage, I need something that goes well with these roses. There's brick here. Oh, look at this. Oh, what else am I going to use it for? What else do we have? This is a little bit too plain. I could use this one. It's also nice. And this one. Ooh, that's actually really nice. And this is a bit busy. I'm going to go for the, for the big rose one. Because when else am I going to use that? Well, now. Perfect. So this is going to be an easy one. I'm just going to fold it in uh, like so. There you go. Yeah. And then I'm going to fold this piece up. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to, you know, eyeball it. Like so. So this is going to be the front, which is lovely. Love that. And now we need another pocket inside. Let's see, I'm just gonna, it's nicked here, so I'm gonna cut it at that point. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna fold that in half as well before I glue it down. It's going to look like this. Oh, lovely. Um, before I glue it, I'm going to ink it. Shall we make gussets in here? Oh yeah, let's do that. Something different. I'm going to make notches. Not gussets, it's called notches. I'm sorry, I keep mixing up all these terms. Notches in here. There you go. Now the problem is, I need to have the notches in the exact same spot. Well, you don't need to, but I want to. So that's why I'm doing this trick. Same spot. Yep. This hardly needs any inking. Yeah. Looks like this is smaller. See that? Which is weird because, you know, it's supposed to be six by six minus a little bit. Uh, how are we going to fix that? We are going to take off a tiny bit of here.
or better. See, we MacGyvered it. This is very light paper. If I uh, was to use um, my glue tape, I think you'd notice. So I'm just going to use art glitter glue again. Uh, let's do it the right way, the correct way. One in the middle. On both sides. And on the, you don't even need to glue it on the bottom because... Nothing is going to fall out on the bottom, but you know, let's just glue the bottom. There you go. And now we need to glue these. Do not forget the middle though. No, I'm not going to do that again. And over here. Oops. There you go. We need some something decorative. I think I know what I want on here. This is like a seamstress, right? Yeah. So I have the well this stamp that says mantles, costumes, and millinery. Yes. So that works out perfectly. I think I want to have that. Oh, look at the size. Look at that. Um, I'm sorry. Made for it. I think I want to use some sort of color like this. And I do have that, I believe. Fired brick. Do I have fired brick? Yeah, I used that the other day. And I think that color will look very nicely. Tada. Also works perfectly. Is it straight? Let's hope so. Oh, look at that! So cute. I like the outside, the, the inside more than the outside now. Maybe we can have like... I'm gonna do it over there as well. But, 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 I do not want to stamp. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, and I was thinking this ribbon, done. So cute, right? Um, I do want to have something on the back. Um, I think I'm going to have a washi sticker. I have this book full of the washi stickers. It's the black and white. We could do one of your children. Oh, these are seamstress stuff things, yeah? Like, uh, let's call this a mannequin. It's probably not. Fitting, doll. Oh, that's nice. We have a couple of these. I have also have this one. No! Look at that! No, look at that. Look, look at this. This is like a lady, you know, measuring. And this is the exact same image. What? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I think I'm going to have it here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There we go. Perfect spot to put this sticker. So the, the paper pack, uh, uh, this pad came from um, Action. And the stickers came from AliExpress. So from different sort of continents of the world. Love it, love it, love it. So this is um, a double one. Then we have a triple one. Let's have a quadruple one. Let's make one of those. Let's make one with the vintage map. Yes. And the problem is there's no map on the other side. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll do something with that. I want to make like a quadruple. I don't know if that is a word even. These are actually two pages. Yeah, this came from an atlas. So these are two pages. So this is going to be the center. 
so that is pretty easy so i'm gonna fold this a little bit away from the center just like one eighth of an inch a couple of millimeters it's going to be tall pockets shall we have uh oh i'm gonna have more pockets on here yeah i just i just decided There you go. And the other one. That's really lovely. And then you fold it in like so. But what we're going to do is I'm going to make a pocket first here. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to fold it up. This is pocket number one. Like so. I'm going to have a pocket here and a pocket here, but I am going to make these pockets more shallow, right? Yes, I have another one of these, so I'm going to make them with these. So I'm going to make two strips. Am I? Yes, but uh, I do want this strip to fall a little bit behind this pocket so you cannot see that it's actual strips. Does that make any sense? Hopefully it does. So I'm going to have this stick out. I'm going to overlap it like an inch or so. Yeah. And then I'm going to have it yay high. Probably, yeah. So I'm going to put a mark here. Let's first make one strip. Let's take out my fantastic paper cutter. I really need to re replace this one. Uh, it's upside down. There we go. Yes, I, I think I'm going to buy um, a much bigger one than this one. It doesn't even fit. <laughs> the page is too long. Okay. Hopefully this goes well. Oops. It's too short. Well, the paper cutter is too short. Not the paper, of course. I should use a ruler for this. Snip this. Okay. So, this is the second one. And now we need another one. I think I'm going to have it the same height. I am not going to... Uh, am I... Do I want this on here? So, cut it from the top? Yes. Yes, I'm going to do that. So it's going to go like so. This is going to be the last pocket. And I'm going to snip it here. I did have a pencil at one point. Well, I think this piece of paper is too large for any paper cutter, so it's not really the paper cutter's fault now, is it, love? No, 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 no. Still. You should think my, by now my paper cutting skills would improve they haven't they really haven't so this is gonna go on like so do we love it yeah i will ink it because because um that will sort of define where the pockets are i'm just gonna fold these in as well before we glue them down not all the way to the middle just leaving a tiny bit of room. There you go. So what I'm going to do is ink all of the bits. And uh, then we're going to glue them in. I inked all of it. Now before I glue them down, let's be smart about it, Margaret. Uh, if we start from the bottom, you're going to get nowhere. So we need to start from the top, right? Yeah, so I need to uh, glue this piece.
piece first. I am going to sort of mark where I want it. Is this straight? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Sort of. Sort of. It's okay. So I'm going to glue these pieces on first. Um, here, 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 and there. Yeah. Uh, and the bottom. Very important. The bottom. Oops. Don't glue on this, love. That will cause problems. One. Two. Three. Don't forget this part. And the last one. Four. Did we glue everything? Double check, 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 double check. Yeah. Art is very tired. He's like, I'm going to lay down over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is art glitter glue. So put it where you want it and not where you sort of want it. Here's one. Now, for the other one. Oh, no, it's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down. I was like, what? what's happening? Let's have this one. It needs to be a little bit higher. Over here and over there. Uh, there. Okay, another gluing adventure. For the paper itself, you really don't need art glitter glue. No, because it's not like paper, you can use any glue. <clears throat> I am merely using these because of the nib. It's called nib, right? But... Um, there are other solutions for that. Don't forget this. Is there glue here? Well, there was glue, but you glued it a while ago. So, so there. Um, lining it up. One needs to go here and the other one needs to go there. Sticking out a little bit. So, I, I think I need to trim it. See? This is a little bit over the edge, but that's okay. I have a paper trimmer. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And then we need to do the bottom one. And for that, I only need the vertical parts, not horizontal. You don't need to glue that. Nothing's going to fall out over there. Yeah, I'm letting it dry for a bit. Let me show you guys. Um, I buy these. You can buy these anywhere. Uh, I buy these on um, AliExpress, like a pack of four or something. But you can also buy these at your craft shop. It has sort of the same uh, nib or nozzle or how you want to call it. And this is, this says normal. It's like normal glue and this is fabric glue. Yeah, but... Honestly, since I have this one, I never use these anymore. But if you do not want to invest in art glitter glue or you have no access to it, um, these small bottles will work just as well. There you go. I think I need to trim it. But let's first see how we fold it. Well, this works. Let me get my bone folder. And then this one. Also works. I just want to trim this over here. Um, for that I need a ruler. <coughs> and a knife. Let's 
taking off the piece that sticks out. Same to the other side. There you go. Perfection. Well, not really though. Lots of pockets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pockets. Really? Wow. Yeah. And it looks like this. Oh, it feels nice. It feels nice as well. Uh, first, I want to look for a closure. And then let's think about how we are going to decorate this. For the closure, I definitely want to use this one. I think that works very well. This would be sort of a beautiful um, ephemera holder to take with you on holiday. And then collect small pieces of ephemera during your vacation. Yeah. But it's not vacation time anymore. Well, for most of us. I want to wrap this around twice, I guess. Two. And then uh, make sort of a knot. I don't know. Something like so. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yes, very rustic. Great. Now for decorating, um, I thought about it. This is sort of travel themed. Yeah, so I was thinking poster stamps. Poster stamps, some small labels. So I took out my box. My box of poster stamps. And I'm just going to do this. Ta-da. This is all sorts. I have uh, poster stamps albums that are all sorted. And these are... I really need to sort one day. Um, and I do enjoy that process. But it also gives me a neck and a back ache. I don't know why that is. because, Well, probably because you're in one position for like four hours. So yeah, I want to decorate with some uh, stamps. I think that'll be lovely. I am not going to go for the uh, ones that have a clear sort of image on there. Like butterflies or you know, oh, I have more horses here. Or horses, or someone who is running at the Olympics. A lovely couple from Luxembourg. Let's do some blue ones. Some bluish, purplish ones. Australia. Yeah, let's have sort of a blue sort of theme going on. A lot of purple. What's this? Oh, it's from Italy. Isn't that a beautiful one? Do you look? Look, do you want? Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's do blue purple. Indonesia. Uh, I need to have more because I want to do it sort of all the way around. Morocco. Do we want a lighter blue? Oh, this is Andochine. Airplane. Oh, airplane could be nice. No, it's too modern. Too modern. This is an old one from the Netherlands. Deutsche Post from Germany. The oh, lovely Elizabeth. There you go, sweetheart. Of course you need to be on here. What is this? New Zealand. Oh, wow. Is that sort of Elizabeth and her sister? But she would, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to cherish that one. This is too new, too new. Plants. A lot of blues in here. Argentina, Argentina. Do we have enough yet? A couple more, just a couple more. I want something more in the bluish and, uh, and that's too new. That's too new. Oh, I do love stamps. Oh, that's the same one. The post Italian. And another one from Morocco. And probably Egypt. You think? Well, it says Egypt as well. Okay, so let's do these ones. And this one. Another purple Elizabeth. And this one. <laughs> and this one. Great. So what I want to do is decorate this whole bit. Just put some random pieces on. Gonna do it like so. 
normal glue stick I'm not gonna do anything fancy I'm just gonna glue some on here and there I am NOT going to have them straight I'm gonna do this yeah that's very adventurous for me because that's something I normally don't do but I think it has this has holes you see that what's that about oh it's about holes probably so I'm gonna have them on very very random That's a handsome couple, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I must say I'm not very familiar with who these are. Is Luxembourg a monarchy? Do they have a king and a queen? I don't know. Actually, I have no clue. Well, I know this. I'm going to um, glue this one over the fold. Yeah, because, um, well, it's going to be tricky. But I do like that effect. Same with this one. I have one... Um, viewer and uh, also customer on Instagram that's from Luxembourg yep so I did send something to Luxembourg the other day Egypt on the front the lovely Elizabeth oh let's have some Dutch on here as well did you notice no Juliana anywhere on here that's a problem <laughs> that's a big problem yeah we need to fix that i'm gonna fix it i probably have some juliana somewhere another elizabeth there's a lot of purple here let's do a purple one here Deutsches. Deutsche Post. Indonesia. What's this supposed to be? Oh, it's a building. Look like, like a skiing sort of ramp thingy. One rupia. And one from Morocco. What I forgot to do is do this. Yeah. Um, are you going to flip them over? Yeah, I'm going to flip them over. Why not? Why not flip them over? I can do that. See, that sort of looks nice. And let's do another flip over from Morocco. Am I on camera? I'm sorry. Let's do some flip overs. Yep. I forgot I need also need to do something over here, of course. There. Hmm, there. I need more stamps. I'm not going to put a lot on here because, well, you know, basically there's going to be stuff in here. So we don't need a lot. I'm using up a lot of stamps. You're probably all like, no, don't use that many stamps. Oh, lovies, I have a gazillion. I will never run out of stamps, I guess. Another purpley one. From Czechoslovakia. Gonna peek out from underneath here. I need some Julianas. Oh, there, I see one here. A blue one. There you go, sweetheart. Of course, you can be on here. Uh, what is the front? There you go. I'm gonna have you front and center. Uh, that's gonna be underneath the closure. So I'm gonna have you over here. There you go, love. Stamp, 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 stamps. Um, we need one more over here. That is green. We're not going to do green. No. I want an older one. Oh, let's have some. Is this George Washington? Yes. Wow. I'm very proud of me. I recognize George Washington. 
George is going to go on here. I'm going to put another George on here as well. There you go. Did you think we were done? Of course we're not. No, because I have stamps. I've taken out my very favorite eccentric, uh, love that one. And there are some stamps in here that are related to transport, holiday, postage, or what have you. So I'm just going to do some random stamping. This one, this one, and this one. Then this says ticket. I'm just using black archival ink. This says transportation company. Well, I have that over here. And there. And probably here. And then this says baggage check room. Yep. And then we have check number luggage luggage um, there here. here you're in the way and we have letter parcel number something something number something something and there Yeah, do we need another one? Down here. I'm going to flip it over because I'm going to do some more stamping also on the other side. Yep, there we go. One, two, 65, 147, 2039 and a half. Yes, my counting is fantastic. Ticket, ticket, ticket. What do you mean random stamping? Well, I mean random stamping. Random stamping is fine. It just looks nice. Luggage, check, number. There you go. Oh, that's close together. Mm -hmm. this like so did we do this one yet probably not um <laughs> there and some of these transportation company Does it need a, need a stamp? Yes, it does. It does, love. I, I found a purpley one. Now it's done. I wanted to make many, many more, but I ran out of time. I want to check the end result, but before I do that, I have a list of coach supporters that I really want to thank today. Uh, my list says thank you to Elise, Lorraine, Mari, Trisha, Angie, Corina, Jean and Julie. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support. Now, let's go look at all the beauties that we made. Well, we only made three, but three different ones, yeah? Uh, this was the first one. Oh, I do love this closure. I'm just going to slide it off for now. Uh, and this is the, the real trifold, yeah? Open it up like so. Very simple. You can put postage stamps here and lovely pieces of ephemera, some tickets, what have you. Yes, uh, with the coffee on the back. So, yeah, very lovely. Then this one. Costumes and uh, costumes and millinery. I love it. And this was a way to use up my six by six paper pads because I have a million of those. Isn't that lovely? I didn't do any more decorating to this one because it was already fine as it was. And then 
with the exact same washi um, sticker. Really cool. And this one, love this one, of course. So this was a three fold, two, and this a four fold. Probably, uh, I don't know. Tell me the word. Yeah, so really lovely. I love the decorating on here. And you can put all sorts in here. Yeah, this is actually perfect for um, a travel journal. Or, you know, to send out as happy mail. Or what you can do also with these, with these smaller ones, especially the thinner ones. Yeah, have some uh, cool stuff in there and then put it in a pocket in your journal. Yeah, why not? You can use it for that as well. Guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun, I must say. Uh, it's Friday, so um, yeah, there's the weekend. I need to go back to my real job. <laughs> I will be back this Monday with another video. Don't miss me during the weekend. I will put on the 100 day playlist. Yeah, that's a lot of videos. You know, 100 of them. Um, I'll see you Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye guys.